woman is found dead in her Gresham home, and tonight police tell us she was murdered. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 530. I'm Ken Boddy. The crime alert happened at the Bell Acres Mobile Estates in the 2900 block of Northeast Division Street in Gresham. Our Chris Woodard is there live, and Chris, what's the latest on this? Well, still a lot of questions tonight, Ken, for everyone who lives in this area. Now, police are still on the scene tonight. We just saw a detective drive in a short time ago. A few minutes ago, I saw some officers searching a wooded area near this home as well. But this all started Saturday afternoon. That's when we've learned this woman was found in her home by some relatives who'd gone to check on her. I've learned that the woman was dead by the time police and paramedics arrived. The only thing police are saying right now about who this victim is is that she is an adult female. Uh, as for how she died and who may have done this, that's something police are not talking about tonight at this point, not saying whether they have that information or are still trying to figure it out. Now, obviously, that is something neighbors here are very anxious to learn. Oh, yeah, it's real quiet here. No problems at all. You know, that's why we all move here, because it's so safe. And, like, this is really shocking, you know, have something like this happen right next door to you. Uh, everyone's really stunned. Uh, don't know what to believe. As you heard their neighbors say, they don't know what to think at this point. They say there are some rumors flying around through the area. But again, right now, police not giving much information as to what happened, keeping that quiet tonight. Now, neighbors tell us that this victim largely kept to herself. They say they think she may have had some family living in this area as well. Again, police still investigating. And this is a, an area that neighbors tell me is largely quiet. A lot of retirees living here. So something like this happening, even more of a shock for them. This is an investigation we will continue to follow for you and have an update later this evening. Live in Gresham, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.